Salutations and good morrow, everyone, and welcome to another walkthrough of this new game called Grounded. Now, in this walkthrough, we are going to be going over all of the bases in the game, including getting into some of the secret ones. And I wanted to bring you guys this one. Um, there is going to be some spoilers in it, and there is going to be more lore talked about in the game. But I wanted to tell you guys and show you guys all the different secret bases that are out there and how to get to them, because there's so many questions about it, and nobody really knows all of the answers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter flight mode, okay? So what that is, is I'm allowed to use a little skull to fly around and show you guys different things in the map by clipping through things. Now, uh, this may put a frown on some people's faces for me actually flying through items and flying through objects, being able to get through locked doors. But um, we need no more locked doors. We need to be able to get in places. We need to be able to show you guys what's around in this game because at the end of the day, this game is so awesome and there's so much lore. And this is just the beginning. This is only 20% of the game, according to the developers. And there's this much in it already. So I'm going to go ahead and enter into flight mode here um, and what you guys can see is now you guys see my little guy here I'm playing as max right now but uh, that's not really who we want to focus on right now so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the bases that you would enter in order okay so we're gonna start with the um, oak lab okay so we're gonna go over to the oak lab right now so as you're flying over here you can pretty much just fly through things right which looks great um, you can increase your flight speed here which I'm gonna do there we go Okay, so the Oak Lab, after the Mystery Machine explodes, um, you're going to come on over here to look for the Oak Lab entrance, right? So the Oak Lab entrance is just a leaf covering up the entrance. So you gotta kind of got to fly around or walk around the base looking for it. Excuse the really bright gamma, it's going to get dark here soon. Okay, so here's the Oak Lab entrance, right? So you enter in through here, okay? And then you fly around in here. Let me lower down the speed so I can fly a little bit slower. And you go down this hallway and you'll see that everything's all exploded in here, right? And on back over here, you're going to find Burgle and you're going to find Entrance. So in order to enter this lab, you enter in a code over here and, it unlock and you pull this lever and it unlocks this door. You go on through here, an ominent door, and then you see a bunch of other stuff along it over here. If you walk through this door right here, there's going to be some battery packs in here that exploded, uh, showing where that explosion happened. Some information on the laser right there. And then here is Burgle. Okay, you got to pick Burgle up and you repair him. Burgle's sad right now, but he really is just a cute robot. He's a burger flipping robot and he needs some help. You see him reaching there for help. But you come over here and there's going to be a log on this table and secret notes in here. That'll give you some more information and then a research station. So after you do all of that, they're going to tell you that there's another base. You're going to push this button and you're going to leave. Okay, and after you leave this base, so you're just flying around here. We're going to speed up a little bit to get out of this base a little bit quicker. And then what you're going to do after you build your base and you got some exploring done is you're going to go, well, I want to go and find more. I'm going to go explore more. So you're going to head over to the hedges. Okay, now I've covered the hedges and how to get up into the hay, the hedge may base uh, in an earlier episode. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to fly in here really quick. You come in through this area. You come in through this pond right here. This is actually um, the... I forget what the heck he's called. The uh, Rash Pond, that's what it is. The Rash Pond, you pretty much look for this can and this spade right here and you walk past it and you'll enter in right here. You'll go up this stick and you know you're going the right way because there's another research base right here and you'll start following the trees on over this way. Now, you can either get up to this base by using the way of the Frisbee where the Broodmother is or you can go up via the um, the easier path and the safer path which would be using the bird bath. All right? And you climb up through the trees and get in that way. Um, you'd climb up and up you come up over here you jump down over here and in you go bob's your uncle and there's the uh the hedge base now what i want to say is that there is going to be another entrance at some point in the game when it's unlocked because how would the people that were here before us get in here well they built themselves a little entrance now this door is locked as well you cannot enter it through the game but what i'll do is i'm going to fly up here for you guys right so here you go this is how you'd get in and bada bing, Bob's your uncle, here you are. You can hop up these mushrooms and you would think that you could get in through this door, but you can't. This door is also locked. I'm not sure why, but I will show you how to get in here. So you jump up on top of the mushrooms, you jump on this last mushroom, you hop up here and you run around over here, whippy dippy, all the way up to the top, this direction, right? And then you're going to run along this stick until you get to here and you're going to jump down. Okay, actually, I'm sorry, you got to go... Yeah, that, that was the right spot. That was the right spot. Good job, Sim. You're, you're good at life, not really. Okay, so right here. What you're going to do is you're going to jump onto this leaf, and you're going to be able to walk to the edge right about here, 
okay? And you're gonna be able to just run and jump. Now, don't sprint and jump, just run and jump and hold walk forward and you will get in here. In here, there's gonna be a switch that you can pull and there's also gonna be a couple audio logs in here and a little research station right there where you can do some science. Okay, you walk up here. Let me slow down here so we can walk a little bit slower. All right, and you could come in here. There's a little bit of a research table here where somebody was eating or, you know, doing something they weren't supposed to do, maybe writing their book, audio log or something, a whiteboard in here. Now, there is something to do with the whiteboards in the game. There is a secret note that tells you that there's going to be some information on a whiteboard. I will show you that whiteboard, even though currently there's nothing written on it because that's not part of the game yet, but I will show you guys what whiteboard that is. That is a spoiler, by the way. If you guys don't want to see that, please go ahead and just like the video and leave now. Um, um, but there are going to be spoilers here from on out. Okay, so right over here, you guys can see another research area. And then coming right up over here, there's actually going to be another way to turn to go into that area right over here. Right, here's another little area you can walk into. All right, there is another area you can go into over here. There's a locked door right here. You think I'm going to go through this door? Well, it's locked and you can't. But going through this door... You'll see that there's an area that's a little bit more overgrown and that there is some computers in here. And there's also an audio log on the ground right here. Okay, you pick that up and it's going to give you some more information. You could get in right here by jumping onto this stick from running over there. Okay, that's how you get in there. But be warned, you cannot get up into this other place unless you use that jumping trick I previously showed you. Okay, so now once you're over here and you're all done here, you're going to think, well, that's dumb. That's all that there is to the hedge base. You're wrong. There is more. So you run up this stick here and you run up over this direction and you're like, there's got to be more in here. And then you spot out of the corner of your eye that there's a little base up here. Okay, so then what are you going to do? Well, you're going to come over here. You're going to jump on this stick. You're going to run up over here, jump on this leaf here, run up this log, and then you're going to run across over here run up here and enter through this door now this door does open so you can get in here um and you go through this door go through this door and here you are in the communications base as i like to call it me and the rat pack like to call this the communications base it's got a couple batteries some satellite dishes and this thing over here that has absolutely nothing in it you could come over here and there's nothing right so there you go. That is how you get up over here. There's two other parts to this base as well. So once you leave and you're like, wow, that was really cool. I wonder if there's a way to look at the entire backyard and you bet your sweet booty there is. So then you come over here, you come back down over here and then you run up on this log, run up over on these mushrooms. And then you come up over here and you see this very strange little orb. It's not an orb, it's actually a blueberry. But then you climb up over here. From here, you climb up. And you come up over here and here you are you have this nice little observation post now when you walk up to this post this entire back door opens up so you can get in here if you guys want to see an explanation of that or what it looks like when you walk in here go check out my 30 how to find all the scabs in the game video okay it's going to be linked in the description and probably linked somewhere as a card throughout this video you guys are able to see that or just go back to the channel and check it out it's got a lot of helpful information and the scabs are pretty cool because they can give you all sorts of different colors so we're going to come up here and we're going to go through this door because we can just clip through there's going to be a scab that's right here and here you guys go here is the backyard right this is what we like to call the observation deck because you can see the entire backyard now there is one other small secret to this base that not a lot of people know how to get to and that is the satellite array okay i call it the satellite array in the rat pack i was the first one to get up there and it was very difficult because i had to jump through and climb on all the trees and it's actually right here so once you're up here you jump through all these leaves being as careful as you possibly can okay trying to find your way and then you can get up over here now you cannot actually get inside of this base and you can hear right now there's some sort of noise but it's very quiet so and then you can actually clip in here but there's nothing in here there's no door to get in here you can clip in there we're not exactly sure what this is for the only thing we do know is that this satellite dish is currently pointed directly at the uh at the uh, lasers that are over there i know it's a little blurry right now but that's the best that we got right now so that is pretty much all to the hedge base but you're going to find some secret notes in here that are going to tell you to go looking for another base okay so then we go looking for another base and you think well where am i going to have to go and you betcha it's going to be into the haze the haze base okay now the haze base is pretty cool because inside of the haze base 
it's kind of broken down and full of fungus, okay? I'll bring you guys over there. I'm going to explain more once you get inside. There is a way to clip through this door. I have done it on Raptor's live stream. It was very difficult, but I did do it. In order to get into the haze base, you pretty much look for this light right here, and you go down, and here's the door. In order to get in there, you guys can see by watching that video back, my stream back, or Raptor stream back, you just build a bait. You put a foundation here, a leaf on it, and then you build a couple of the lean twos and you can clip through this wall and fall down here. We'll get more into that in a minute. I'd like to take the tour the right way. So we're going to go in through the front door. Okay. So you want, if this door wasn't locked, you'd walk in here, which is strange that all these doors are locked in here because they say that the game's not done yet, but they built these bases out fully. So it's strange. So you're told to go find a whiteboard because there's somebody called the watcher that was watching the lead scientist who's developing the shrinking technology. Okay. So you come in here and you come down over here. As soon as you enter in here, you're going to see an infected weevil in here. Okay, the infected weevil is, there's nothing you can do with it. But in the ground right here, there's going to, or actually it's right here, there's going to be another note. Okay, there's another secret note that you can get and read that's going to give you a little bit more information telling you you're going to look for a secret door. Okay, let's continue on this way to come through here. You're going to notice that you get to go down now. And upon going down, you're going to notice that this base is shorting out because there's something wrong. There's something spooky going on in this base. You're going to press a button up there that's going to open up this door and you're going to come in here. All right. And looking around in here, you're going to come over around this way. And you're going to notice the fungal growth has started. Okay. Then there's a big red button. You're going to click this big red button. That's going to end up opening a door down below. But click the big red button. And then you're going to jump up over here. Now, this is where I told you spoilers are going to happen right now. Warning, super spoiler. All right. Coming through in here, there's going to be another secret note on the table that's telling you about the watcher and who he is. Okay. And then this is the whiteboard that's going to lead on after that quest. Now, you're not going to be able to read anything on it, but it will update the quest telling you you're looking now for a secret door. Okay. The secret door will lead you into the wall or blueberry base, as I like to call it. But right now, this is the watcher's terminals. This is how the watcher is keeping an eye on you. And you can actually see that the watcher tried to escape out of here because there's a footprint there and there's also a footprint there there okay flying on this way a little bit more we're gonna go downstairs into where there's another switch like up in the hay hedge base okay you come out here and you guys are gonna notice all this fungal growth underground now we're not exactly sure where this fungal growth has started from but i do know the fungal growth is needed to make explosives so obviously that stuff is not good flying on over here you're gonna go through and you're gonna notice another door you can get through this door i've been down here you can get through this door and you guys are gonna notice that there's another science machine just like the oak lab okay so the, these labs are all connected somehow we are in the rat pack raptor me cole all the people that i play with are all under the understanding that each one of these these bases control one of the lasers the oak lab the haze base and the hedge base all control a laser okay so inside of here, you can actually open up this door and walk in here and there's another lever that you can pull and you can see another schematic for the laser. But really, that is it when it comes to the haze base right now. There is a lot more to see in this base. I'm just going to go ahead and fly straight on up to get out of here. But you can run around in there if you can get through, but be wary, you're going to need a gas mask because that entire place is filled with the toxin that tries to kill you, aka just the, uh, the weed be gone, the weed killer. All right, so the last base I wanted to talk to you guys about is the blueberry base. Now, there's a reason why I call it the blueberry base, because the blueberry base actually has a giant blueberry in it. And I'll show you guys that right now. So in order to get in there, you're going to need to build four foundations and then you're going to need a trampoline. That's how you're going to get up to this one. Or you could do the trick like I showed you guys in my walkthrough of all the scabs and you just build using... Um, the slanted roof tiles all the way up here okay so you get in here and be warned you cannot get through this door this is also a locked door but let's get through all right and here you are this is why we call it the blueberry base you see a blueberry with a giant mouth on it now we do not have any idea why this blueberry has a mouth on it this is part of the lore there's no information in here we've got up here we've got in to see if there's anything here because if a player gets close to it without clipping through the door somebody in fly mode can see if there's anything else in here this is the secret door they were talking about okay this is how you get to this secret area we do not have any other story progression past this point in the current moment but you guys will see we have two red buttons you guys can check out here a more of these cameras for the watcher to keep an eye on everything and also 
the super evil looking blueberry. Now, we're not sure if this is going to become a, an enemy in the game. I'm sure that it might going further. But as you can see, we have a broken down blueberry there, one that's missing, a broken one here, some small ones, which I don't know how they got so small. Maybe they're baby ones. Uh, another one, a stick from the actual branches that are over there, um, a seed, what it looks like, one that's partially growing, and then just another regular one. Now, flying and clipping in here, you can actually see that there's nothing more to these blueberries. They are just regular blueberries. But guys, this is all of the bases, right? So it's crazy enough to think that something like this is in the game, okay? To think that there's something with teeth that is going to be in this game further on a, a some sort of fruit or vegetable that's going to be attacking you upon all of the other creatures and bugs that are in the game already, which I will be doing a overview of how to fight each and every one of the bugs in the game. I have a complete list of them, including some that haven't even been released yet that I know are going to be coming out and how to fight those as well. So if you guys want to see that, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel because that is how you guys are going to get that information. Hit the like button on this video or leave me a comment down below if you guys think that there's more information. Some people will say that there is a base underneath the pond. Pond. I'm going to show you right now that that is not the truth. If you come to the pond, then you deep dive on down, right? They're like, oh, it's right underneath the frisbee. Let's go find the frisbee. It's right over here somewhere. I don't come in here very often. But the frisbee is around. There it is. People are like, well, you can hear something underneath the frisbee. Let me show you. There's nothing underneath the frisbee. There is a lake underneath the lake where I'm assuming that there will be a base at some point, but there is nothing in here, guys. This is absolutely empty. There's no hidden anything in here. I'm sorry. I hate to disappoint you guys, but there are currently only four bases in the game. So, guys, that is all of the bases. I hope you guys really like this video, and I hope you guys hit the like button, subscribe today, and will leave me a comment down below of other cool things you guys would like to see in Grounded, because I would love to bring you guys more. But, guys, that is all the time I have left. So I'll see all of you guys in the next one.